Good morning, everyone. It's Sheila. Boho Daydreams here with Sally, who's Rainy Day Gypsy. And we are going to do our first bead tutorial together. Well, Sally's going to be doing most of it, and I'm just going to watch how um, she's doing it. And I'm going to be her helping hands if she needs anything. So she's got all of her things that she thinks that she's going to need all set up here. And it's kind of a little bit of a, oops, chilly day outside. There's a little bit of frost on the grass and snow. So we had a bit of snow, but oh my goodness, it is so exciting. It's so exciting. Look at all this. Eek. All right, uh, we're gonna set up now. See you in a bit. Good morning. Welcome to Rainy Day Gypsy. This is Sally. And uh, this is my very first tutorial. <laughs> of course, I have <laughs> Sheila here. And she just told me, I'm so nervous. And I thought, oh, thanks a lot, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> anyway, if you're ready for a lot of giggling and goofing off, hang in here. Because we're going to start doing a little boho bead tutorial. Okay, so first off, what you need are some straws. I just buy these at the supermarket. This is from my latte. Okay, so you need to determine what length you want from your, for your little boho bead. Let's start with one about like that. So you're gonna cut your straw. And you'll notice we have all our little goodies sitting around in little in little um, bowls and stuff, this kind of fun. I'm gonna straighten him up a bit. There, okay. So let's do one this size first and then I wanna do a littler, skinnier one. It's kind of fun. Okay, so we'll just put him here and kind of play off him. All right, get, get rid of this guy. You'll notice all our little supplies. Did you see all these? Woo! Okay. Now I need to figure out what glue I'm going to use. I think I'll use this. I'm going to use this guy because I think he works good with fabric to fabric. Um, now, of course, of course I'm going to use Sheila's beautiful sari. Woohoo! Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a strip, and it can be as long as you want. Actually, I would normally do one that's longer than this, but we're gonna try this today. I'm just gonna clip it, and I'm gonna rip it. She tells me to do that, it just kills me every time I do it. And I want to make this the end, the pretty end, the end that shows you know, I'm gonna wrap it around and I want that to be the last to wrap. So I am going to kind of cut this in a pie shape. So I'm gonna take it like this. And with any luck, we'll get two out of this because I, when you cut it like this in a pie shape, you know, you should have two real long triangles. And this isn't gonna make two, but you know, the thought was there. And you don't want it wider than your little straw. Get rid of that guy. You can see that I'm really, really exact, can't you? Okay. So, if your stuff, if your sari isn't as long as your straw, we'll glue it on anyway, and then we will just trim the straw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this and glue it as we go, and then we're gonna have like that at the end. And we kind of want that more pointy. Maybe. Doesn't have to be. I don't think there's any rules no. at all with making beads. Yes, Sheila and I kind of make these up as we giggle. <laughs> True. And nothing ever goes to waste. Yeah, nothing ever goes real right either. <laughs> Okay, so hang in there with us because we're trying. <laughs> oh no, this glue. <laughs> Here she is giggling. Go drink your coffee. 
Quit making me nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, there she goes. There she goes. You didn't know Sheila was so silly, did you? She acts so professional in her in her tutorials and her videos. It's like, do you want to know the real Sheila? Because she's fun and goofy. Okay, so I wrap it, I put a little glue on the straw and I roll it along. And then when I think, oh, okay, it needs a little more glue, just add a little more glue, just so it stays on there. And why I do this um, fabric in a little pie shape, one of the reasons is it um, makes it a little bit fatter in the middle when, the, when it's all rolled up there. See, that was magic. Okay. So now we're going to continue wrapping him. And see, he comes out a little bit fatter in the middle. Oh, got to get into screen salad. Oh, okay. Oops. And then just put a little dab of glue. This glue dries clear, so it's, it's I, I really like this glue. I like that other glue, that fabric fix stuff, but boy, it sticks to your hands so bad. And then you stick to the bead, and then pretty soon you're like a one-armed paper hanger, and you're, look at that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Sheila. It, I like the little pokies out too, the oh, little phrase. Yes. Who needs Sheila. eyelash trim? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now what is next? Okay, let's trim these off just just so they don't show. Trim those. Okay, now we're gonna need some wire. And I always use more wire than I need to because well. You have to know me. Okay, so we're gonna do the little end like you know the jewelers do it, or the little jewelry makers do, which I am still learning how to do this. Yep, keep going. Okay. All right. Don't I wanna wrap it around itself? It's, that looks nice. That looks really nice. And then just put that, no. Oh, okay. All right, so now let's pick out, this is the fun part. Let's pick out some beads that can go with that. These are kind of big, but I love them. But I guess if you did a honking big boho bead, you could use those biggies, but I love those. The cigar size. Yeah, yeah, a big <laughs> fat one. Okay, let's use that one. I just love those. I got those at Hobby Lobby. Aren't they pretty? And I love using these. I, get, I use these on, on almost every bead, uh, on almost every boho bead. They oh, make I good little... Those. I do too. I okay. love your beads. They're yeah, so I know. Fun. Oh, Sheila has gorgeous beads. She thinks I don't pay attention, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take some of those beads when she's not looking. Okay, so let, I always make my be, my boho beads, almost always. I make them like a mirror image from the middle out. I have the same beads on each end because I'm kind of anal that way. But, you know, really, they're prettier when you don't do that, I think. Oh, and then I like these little guys. Oh, yeah, the bead caps. Yeah, is that what you call them? Yeah. And these little guys, aren't they cool? He's kind of big. Oh, did I bump again? I'm sorry. No, you didn't. I'm just going to kind of guard it so you don't. Okay. I like him, but I wonder if I have another one to match. You know, we don't need another one to match. Let's go way out on a limb. Whoa, Sally. I know. That's the that's the bohemian coming out in you. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys aren't annoyed by my giggle. Someone said I sound like Betty Rubble. I like it. Okay, good. All right, so now we have like, that's oh, it. Wow. You guys look. Oh, he did good. Isn't he cute? Okay, he now, cute. now we'll do the old thing again. Now this is what I do here. I kind of, Real, real tight, because you don't want the beads slipping around. Am I in frame? You are. Okay. Oopsie. I really pulled him. And when you do that, just kind of stretch them out. 
put the, your little bead cap things over as well as they go. Because it's a straw and there's wire in there, sometimes they'll bend around and you have to kind of straighten them out a bit. But I love him. Okay, he's looking good. Now we need to do some fancy smancy on him. What are you thinking? Oh, some, some fibers. Yeah, I like, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I like this one. What do you guys think? Ooh. I love that one. Okay, this is what I love to do. I'm going to put some of this on. Let's do this. And, you know, I just tie it on there and then clip the ends. I mean, I suppose there's a, a better way of doing some things like this, but for me, this works. I just don't like the glue thing when I ha get it on my hands and stuff. So I'm just gonna tie a granny knot at the end and then clip it off. And you know, you can put a little dab of glue there to hold that knot if you think it's necessary. But right like that. In fact, you could even take that little end and tie him in. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, I, I love this. I love that fiber. I got that in a thrift store. Did you? I'm gonna yeah. go back. Yeah. You got it in a thrift store? Yeah. It's it comes from I it comes from Italy. Ooh. Yeah. You know, Sheila gives me all these fun things, you guys. That's oh, one it's... of the perks of being Sheila's friend. She gives me all this good stuff. That's because you help me all the time. Yeah. You are my helper and my friend. <laughs> And we're gonna tie this again, maybe. We'll just wrap it and glue it. Hmm, maybe. Are you gonna pause it? No. Just put a little dab of glue there and just wind it in and it'll stay. Okay, so there's that step. Now see, I'm thinking this is pretty. Okay. Oh, that is very pretty. Okay, now I like to do on some of them, let me show you one. Ooh, I, this is pretty too with that little. But on some of them, I've been getting into this kind of um, bead thing I'm doing on them. And I pulled out these beads. What do you think? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's Okay, beautiful. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get some real fine wire. And I'm going to take, again, more than I think I need. Because when you wrap it around and wrap it around, you never know what all you need. Do you want me to pause? No. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump these little beads out and I'm going to sit here and thread this and I'm not going to make you watch me. We're going to pause for a minute and I'm going to thread beads onto this. And go. Okay, so I have these threaded here and I want to make sure and tell you this. First off, close your little lid. Accidents happen. So Sheila and I got the giggles again because... <laughs> Make sure when you're threading these that you're not just threading them right off the other end. <laughs> I've done that several times. You know, it takes me more than once to, <laughs> to learn something. Okay, so I have this many. And I'm going to take... <laughs> Sheila's got the giggles. Okay, so I'm going to take this and wrap it around the end. One of the... Between the beads, so you don't see it. Just... Wrap that little end around. And don't pull your beads off the other end. Because Sheila will have a... I'm laughing. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So we got that wrapped around there. And I'm just going to wrap these like this. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then just wrap it around. Make sure you get them all on there. Isn't that pretty? Okay, then wrap them around. I guess he wants to come off. Okay, get off of there. Okay, so then just wrap them around here a couple times. Oh. Clip them. Oh, how pretty. Isn't that gorge? I love those colors. I do too. Those are some of our fave colors. Yes. Oh, I should have. Okay, I think that one's done. Do you? I do. You can do all sorts. You can just 
put as much stuff on them as you want. Oh, you know what? I always do a little thing. Oh, yeah, put a dangle on that. I love that. It. Yeah, let's do that. Sheila pulled out some fun stuff. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's our guy. Oh, should we do a little dragonfly? Yeah. Okay. Let's do a dragonfly. I wonder if I can find them all. Maybe I should get that one to get. Let's do an elephant because that's going to take me too long to find those. Or a key. Yeah, a key. A key? Yeah. Okay. Let's do a bead and a key. Are there any little tiny beads over there? There's this little one. Okay, let's do this. So let's take some more of our bigger wire and yeah, I guess this is what we'll do. Okay, I just ran and grabbed a little lobster clasp. And so what I'm gonna do here is put him on there. I don't know if I did that right or not. Did I see that? We want him to go. You know, that lobster glass so. might be nicer on top. Okay, Sheila and I were just talking, and what we're going to do is put this little lobster clasp at the top of the bead, right? Well, we were going to put a jump ring. <laughs> <laughs> a jump ring to the lobster clasp. Okay, so we need a couple little lo uh, jump rings. Yes. And we're going to do one... This is where you need your glasses. Oh, yeah. Oh, the glasses. And of course, neither one of us have our glasses. No, on. never. Put it there. Yes. Oh, come on. Okay, we're back. We had a few um, difficulties with those jump rings, so we decided to... Um, we might still have some difficulties. Ooh, my hands shake. Okay. They're so tiny. Yeah, I should have got bigger jump rings. Okay, now this is where, this is where I want to go run and jump off a cliff. You're fine. And I'm taking Sheila with me. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh! I'm back. Okay, we're back. Sheila helped me do those jump rings because they're tiny and I'm not that good. She's done a lot of jewelry and I was shaking like a leaf. Okay, there's that one. What do you think, you guys? Can you see that? Oh, how pretty. Isn't it gorge? So you're gonna, I love that. You're going to do one more, right? Okay, I'm going to do one more. All right, and let's do... And you're going to link all the... Um, the the list of what you need in the description box, right? I'm gonna, yes, I'll list. I'll put a list down there of everything you need to do this. Um, also, I'll put a, a link where you can get sari from Sheila if you want it. You can use velvets and all sorts of good stuff, but she has the best stuff. And then, you know what we're going to do? Yes. We are going to give these beads, these two beads we're making today, we're gonna give them away. Whoops. We're gonna give them away. We're gonna send them to you. You have a, a um, chance to win both of them. If you comment below. And we'll give we'll give it a week, Sheila? Yeah, we'll give okay. it a week. We'll give it a week. And and the many comments, as many comments as we get, we'll put them in our little like random little, generator. Yeah, random our little general. random generator, and we will um We'll send them to you guys. Whoever wins, you get them. So make sure that you comment 
in the um, uh, in the comments, please. Yeah, comment down below if you want a chance to win. Look at that one. Oh wow! Yeah. Ooh ooh. ooh. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not enough. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one. This oh, is okay. this is the combo that I want to use on this one. Oh, what do you think? Yes. Ooh. Pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do this one, you guys. And like I said, I'm gonna rip a little piece and then I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna rip it. I'm gonna cut it this, whoops. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna tear it. Ooh, that's Remember pretty. The arm? Pardon? Remember the arm? Oh, did yeah. I bink, ding ding again? Okay, so let's get our glue, let's go. I'm gonna hurry a little bit on this one so I don't keep you here all day. And this time I'm using the little skinny latte straw, as you can see. Start rolling. You know, I think this glue is the ticket on this. I like this. I just put a little glue now and again, it, you know, don't over glue it. You have so many, if you're going to wind beads and wires and stuff around it anyway, it's, it's not coming off. And by the way, there are, there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube about making boho beads. And I've watched several of them. There are some beautiful beads out there. So go play around and find some artists that do what you like to do. But I've had people ask me to show you what I do and I've kind of made my own little way of doing it. And this is it. Okay. Now, let's find the stuff we're gonna use. We need those little end caps. And because this is a skinny little straw, we'll wanna use smaller ones. Get out of there. Um, ooh, I think I know what I'm gonna do on the end of this one. <laughs> okay, let's use those guys. And I wanted to use these red beads. Yes. What do you think? I do. You like oh, that? Or is I, it too red for the no. pink? Mm -mm. How about this? Ooh. I wanna, well, can... I wanna use this and this. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, this has red in it. I'm gonna use the red. Yeah, I okay. think so. Oh, and these guys, I always have to use these guys. Oh, yes. These little... There's one of them in... Oh, these. Yeah, oh. these guys. I just love those. I love them, too. Where did they come from? I got those at one of the bead stores. Oh. Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. I don't know, but I always am attracted to those. They're kind of a fun little spacer, and they give it some little bling, you know? I love it. Okay, get your wire. And curl up one of the ends. and frame. Okay, here we go. Big bead, little spacer, end cap, bead, sometimes these little ones, sometimes they look too long and skinny if you're not careful, but if they end, this one might be a too long and skinny, but if they end up that way, put more stuff in in the middle. You know what I mean? Here, and it kind of make them look a little less skimpy. See, this one's this one's long and skinny, and he's pretty. Very pretty. It is just a matter of yeah, personal practice. preference. Yeah, exactly. This one's kind of a fat one, but. You know, you kind of want a variety, or at least I do. I don't want them to all look the same. I like to do 
different. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you an alternative way of looping that actually is you kind of turn it over to 90 degree and then grab it again and switch it back and then loop it around. Ooh, this is going to have a long one. Loop it around here so that it tightens your beads down. And we're going to have a big loop there, but that's okay because I'm going to put something there. Okay. So we've got cute little loops at each end. This one needs a little help down here. Now, I want to put some of this stuff on. I'm just kind of doing this one just like I did the other one, but I liked it. I'm going to put this guy wrapped around. And there again, I'm just going to tie a knot. I usually tie the knot, tie the thing on between the little end cap and that second bead seems to work this is fuzzy and furry and soft where'd you get this one sheila oh i found that at a thrift store yeah a lot oh, of yeah. people get rid of their old yarns and stuff you know I then they're done that i think it's like a a wool of some sort but it is so it soft. is really soft i'm gonna wrap it around there i'm gonna get it. <laughs> look at him he looks like a little caterpillar Oh, he's cute. Isn't he cute? Yes. Okay, a little, little glue. Sorry. A very little glue. Okay, oh, I now like I want to do the seed beads. Oh, you want to do some seed beads? Yes, so we're going to pause again while I do my seed bead. Go. Okay, so I looked at this. I love this, these beads, but look how they get lost on there. So you know what I did? I ran to the cupboard, and I got some of this stuff, and I'm thinking this might be pretty, and then maybe put some beads over. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue on here and uh, run this back and forth. And then maybe some beads, maybe not quite as many beads. But, you know, the, the more stuff you put on them, the prettier they get, I think. Okay, glue there. And go. Yes. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. And I got this at a thrift store look for 25 cents yeah this is old i know i think it is too well 49 cents <laughs> oh, oh yeah it was 49 cents at the and i only had to pay 25 wonder how old that is let's see if i can find a bit of there's not even a scantron on there so it's the older, UPC, yeah older than the 80s because I think this would cost a bunch. Yes. Today. Metallic mm -hmm. cord. Okay. Let's hope that glues. And now we can put some beads. Now I'm going to put this little wire right over where I glued that just to hold it down. Okay. And like I say... Learn from me, don't pull them off the other end. And I'm gonna space these out as I go. I'm not gonna have these right together. I'm gonna to kind of space them out and I'm gonna wrap them around here. And we've got ourselves another bead. And if we wanna put a little fun thing at the bottom, you can do that too. In fact, what do we wanna do? I love that little elephant, let's do the elephant. Okay, Sheila, do you want to sit here and do the jump rings for me? Sure. <laughs> I'll get it. Oh, she has some little ones. Okay, go for it, Sheila. All right. She's so. a little jewelry maker. Oh, boy. All right, so. Oh, let's... look at these beads. Those would have been pretty on there. Oh, those are beautiful. Okay, so this guy's going to need um, his wire through. Okay. This one right here? Okay, yep. Yep. That's right. Just, just use, just use the scissors. 
Just use the scissors and doll up your scissors. Yeah, Sally's too. scissors. Yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, oh, oops. See how good she is? And it's just a simple little um, loop. I've Remember, done. if you want to win, comment. Yes. Tell all your friends if you want to win, you get these two little guys. Yeah. I think this one looks holiday-ish. I do. Oh, and this one too, for Jewish holidays. He looks a little even Mardi Gras, right? Mm-hmm. So I caught Sheila drinking my coffee. I had to slap her around a little bit. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I love that little elephant. And I got him at, I think, Michael's in the bead section. You know those beads that hang on the wall that, yes. you know, now and again they'll say like the green label is 50% off or even 70% off? Yes. Oh, I load up. Uh -huh. I had my little grandson in there with me and he was just piling them in my cart. I had to watch <laughs> what he was doing. <laughs> They're so helpful. He was having as much fun as I was. So I just open the jump ring up just a little bit by twisting it to the side. And closing it up. I have to and practice that's that. That's it. You can hang these as I do. Oh, I, I hang... love it. Yeah, I love oh, that. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Just those little random beads. Oh, that's oh, he's so pretty. pretty. Yes. Okay, you guys, we want to see your creations. Absolutely. And you just put a little bulb, a bulb oh, yeah, pin a on bulb the top. Pin. Or even a little safety pin. Yeah, or, or the, as in this lobster clasp, yeah. too. You can hang them from anywhere, from your journals. I hang mine that I have, that I've been gifted. I hang mine from my little chandeliers because it just yeah, they look so bulb cute. hoes them up. I have one of one from you up there too. Oh, I love yeah. it. You know what, you guys? Once I get my Etsy store up, I'm gonna sell these. So you gotta check in with me then. All right, are we done? I think we're, oh, done. we're done. Okay, you guys, remember, be kind, have fun in everything you do. We love you. Bye-bye.